Hi, my name's Wade Stiller. I'm a naturopath here in Queensland, Australia, and we're going to be doing a series of vignettes on molecular hydrogen, because this is the molecular hydrogen revolution. Hello internet and welcome to the Molecular Hydrogen Revolution. We are talking again with Dr. Ellen App Thomas. Welcome. Thank you, Wade. And today we're talking about anti-aging. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, this is a very hot topic at the moment. Very. And there are heaps of anti-aging supplements and exercise regimes mm -hmm. and thought processes out there mm -hmm. um, that are partly very good. <laughs> Let's not say all of them are perfect. Yep, yep. Uh, of course, we'd all like to turn the clock back yep. a million years and yes. uh, you know become much younger, youthful people. Yep. Uh, but really, this is a topic that, that we should discuss. Mm. Um, before we go into uh, talking about the way molecular hydrogen can help with the anti-aging mm -hmm. process, um, could you please just uh, give us a bit of a rundown on... Um, Maybe some of the things that are worth looking at that are out there or, you know, just your thoughts on the, the pills and the creams and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Look, I think a lot of um, anti-aging supplements focus very much on our physical appearance. Yes. And uh, reducing the um, uh, beauty aspects of of the aging process so looking at reducing wrinkles and hydrating the skin uh, and, and so things that to my mind as a clinician you know probably aren't as important as what's going on on the inside so like hair color and stuff like that that's right so what what we're looking at when you look at anti-aging properly or clinically yes. and we look at by definition the slowing of the aging process so what we know is that the actual ageing process itself is about inflammation and it's about oxidative stress. So it's about tissues being slowly damaged yes. um, by that th these chemical processes. So when you're looking at a therapy that's going to be effective on the, the deep way our cells are, are trying to counteract the effects of ageing, yes. you want to have a supplement that has specific antioxidant properties, um, and is an antioxidant that's actually going to get to where the damaging inflammation and, and oxidative stress is occurring. So that's one of the very exciting things about molecular hydrogen is because it's so small, it can actually get deep down into, into the, the nucleus, into the mitochondria, actually get through the blood-brain barrier um, and get to those very important organs like our brain and our heart you know, and things that we know uh, are affected greatly by ageing. Yes. Because our, our chronic degenerative diseases, the things that are related to ageing, are diseases like heart attacks and strokes and arthritis, um, diabetes, cancer, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's. Mm. And we now know through our scientific research that these are all diseases caused by inflammation and oxidative stress. So the, the thing about molecular hydrogen is that it's a selective antioxidant. And I know we've talked about this you know, previously. But it's an antioxidant that uh, neutralises um, selectively the very harmful free radicals, the, the ones like hydroxyl free radical, the perioxynitrite free radical. And these are the radicals that do most of the damage to our cells. Yes. You want to leave spared the uh, beneficial free radicals, things like hydrogen peroxide and superoxide, because they send a signal to our body to become more resilient and to become stronger with time and to fight infection. And they have communication properties with the rest of our cells as well. Mm. So we're looking for the ultimate um, anti-aging um, tool or anti-aging therapy, um, it, it's quite tricky to find that right antioxidant. Um, and this is why looking at uh, the research on molecular hydrogen, it really is, is very exciting. So some of the research um, looking at specific um, aging processes like in the brain, yes. we know that diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's are due to the inflammatory uh, and oxidative stress destruction of, of our nerves, this neurodegeneration 
uh, process. And what we found with patients that were on molecular hydrogen is that they actually had a reduction in the markers of inflammation within the brain. And right. certainly with Parkinson's, it was very exciting because it actually showed to improve a lot of the symptoms that, that Parkinson's sufferers Fantastic. Um, have to deal with, mm. you know, improving mobility um, and improving the actual function Brilliant. of their muscles. Mm. Brilliant. So the brain obviously is a big one. Mm. Are there other mm. areas that research has looked into already? Um, research has looked at the heart as well, the cardiovascular yes. benefits. Okay. Um, and what we've shown is that... Um, at a couple of different levels. One is the damage being done to the wall of the artery. So we know that in problems with things like heart attack, it's because the arterial wall has been damaged by inflammation over time. Yes. And the oxidised cholesterol can stick to the wall of these damaged arterial walls and can fall plaque, which then can break off and, and float downstream and cause a heart attack or a stroke if it's in the brain. Mm. So what they found in a rat study is that the molecular hydrogen actually reduced the damage to the wall of the aorta, one of the, the biggest blood vessels going through you know, the middle of our body, yes. um, and shows some great promise for helping to reduce you know, the, the risks of heart attack and stroke in really? the future. Yeah. Um, they also showed that uh, there was an improvement in um, the actual oxidative damage within the actual heart muscle itself. If, heaven forbid, you had heart a heart attack, what they found was that if you had molecular hydrogen therapy uh, on board, if you had a heart attack, that it actually reduced the size of the heart attack and reduced right. a lot of the damage that can be done as that heart muscle then gets um, a return of blood flow. And they call that a, a reperfusion injury. So interestingly, a lot of the damage to our heart muscle and our brain actually comes from when that blood flow tries to replenish itself after it's been blocked. Right. Uh, the actual cells get an influx of calcium and that creates a lot of oxidative stress and inflammation and that causes a lot of the tissue damage. Wow. So there is a lot of very exciting uses for molecular hydrogen mm. into the future. Fantastic. And let's hope there's plenty more research to be done as well. That would be wonderful. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your... For your information, Dr. Oh, thank you, Wayne. We'll speak to you again soon. Thank you. Ta